In this presentation, you're going to learn about the three biggest reasons why your website is slow and how you can go about fixing it. Let's begin. Number one, bad hosting. There are loads of web hosting companies nowadays and choosing the best one for your business is not always easy. There may be some big web hosts that come to mind when someone asks you if you know any good hosting companies, but popularity doesn't always translate to speed. To make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck, you need to do some research. If you're subscribed to the cheapest shared hosting plan, then maybe it's time for an upgrade. In the web hosting world, you do get what you pay for. The more expensive the plan, the better the resources allocated to your site. But of course, if you only get a few hundred or a few thousand visitors a day, then it may be overkill to go to the most expensive hosting plan. Analyze your website's needs and choose a plan that will be cost effective and won't hurt your website loading times. Number two, optimized images. Image compression is not something many people bother with. After all, it can get annoying to have to spend some time resizing and optimizing every image you'll upload to your site. However, the harsh truth is, if you want your pages to load quickly, you need to look into optimizing your images. There are a bunch of tools you can choose from, both free and premium. Some even offer batch resizing. If you're in need of a good free tool, then head over to TinyPing, tinyping.com, or PickResize, PickResize.com. Number three, code issues. Your website is basically just a bunch of codes put together. When someone visits your site, their browser has to load your site's HTML, style sheets, JavaScript, etc. If any of these codes don't play well with each other, then it can affect your website speed. Minifying your code is one way to reduce code clutter. It helps you improve your page speed too. Another option is called gzip. It reduces your web page's weight, which leads to faster loading pages. If you're on WordPress, don't go plugin happy and install all cool plugins you find. This only increases the risk of plugins conflicting with each other and eventually causing problems to your site. Excessive white spaces, inline stylings, empty new lines and unnecessary comments can make the website style sheet grow larger in size. Three methods to improve your website's user experience. In this day and age, many webmasters still underestimate the value of providing a good user experience for their visitors. They don't realize just how much they're missing out in terms of leads and sales. If you care about your business, then stay tuned to this presentation. Today, we're going to learn about the three methods you can use to improve your website's user experience. Number one, improve page speed. Page speed plays an important role in your website's user experience. No one wants to hang around forever waiting for your website to load. The slower your site, the higher the chances people are going to hit that back button or close their browser tab in frustration. However, when your site loads quickly and people can easily find the information they're looking for, then Google and other search engines will take note and possibly reward your site with better rankings. Number two, plenty of white space. Some webmasters don't believe in utilizing white space and they want to cram as much information as possible into their website. They think giving their users plenty of options is good for their business. However, the truth is, no one wants to have a million different things going on on their screens. Are they supposed to read your article, watch your video, click on that flashing banner, or what? People have limited attention spans online. Don't distract them any further. When you implement plenty of white space in your site's design, then people are going to be able to find the information they're looking for. You can help direct their attention and get them to follow your call to action. Number three, use images and videos. There's a popular saying that goes, a picture paints a thousand words. You should use images that convey what your business and your website is all about. If you're selling a service, then use relevant images and videos that showcase what your service is all about. Try to stay away from stock photos though. People can tell stock photos from a mile away. Use your own images. If you don't have some nice shots, take the time to capture your business in action or hire a professional to do it for you. Videos work even better to capture your brand's authenticity. Think of ways you can use both images and video to capture your audience's attention. Four benefits of using accelerated mobile pages, AMP, for your website. In this presentation, you're going to learn some of the major benefits you're going to get if you use accelerated mobile pages, AMP, for your website. Mobile device use is on the rise. 
and there's no indication it's going to slow down anytime soon. With more and more people using their mobile devices to access websites on the internet, it's important for your site to have a mobile-friendly version. In fact, it's a must that your site is mobile-friendly. With that said, here are the four benefits of using AMP for your website. Number 1. Lightning Fast Web Pages AMP pages load almost instantly. This is why it's called Accelerated. There's no lengthy waiting period. If you've ever visited an AMP page, you'd know just how blazing fast these pages load. If you haven't, well, you can start by searching for the latest news and current events on your mobile device. AMP articles have a lightning bolt icon. Click it and be amazed by the speed. Number 2. Better User Experience Fast loading pages don't stress out visitors. Quite the opposite, in fact. AMP content is also very easy to read on mobile. Since AMP pages are stripped down versions of pages you see on a desktop computer, then there are lesser distractions on it. You can consume content without getting bothered by annoying things you usually see on normal web pages on your desktop browser. Number 3. Improved Google Rankings It's no surprise Google loves AMP pages. After all, they led the AMP initiative because they wanted to give people the best experience when they search for information on their mobile phone browsers. So it makes sense they'll be awarding better spots on search results pages to AMP and mobile-friendly sites. Number 4. Increasing Conversions Since AMP pages lead directly to better user experience and engagement, then it is but normal for conversions to increase as well. Of course, not everyone's going to follow your site's call to action, but with more and more people discovering your AMP pages on mobile, then chances are a good percentage will be taking action. Just a word of caution, though. Since AMP strips down many unnecessary elements of your pages, then you need to be diligent and make sure your AMP pages still contain your calls to action. Four free tools you can use to speed up your website. The joke's on you if you think you can get away with a slow-loading website. We're long past the dial-up technology stage. When people visit a website nowadays, they expect it to load right away. Not in 5 seconds, not in 10 seconds, and certainly not in 1 minute. If you need help figuring out which tools you can use to speed up your website, then don't worry. In this presentation, you're going to get your answers. Let's begin. Number 1. Pingdom Website Test this tool will help you figure out just how slow or fast your website is. Simply plug into your website's URL, select the location you want to test from, then hit the Start Test button. Wait a few seconds, and you'll be presented with a summary of your results. Go through the data so you can figure out what you need to do to improve your site's speed. Number 2. Cloudflare CDN Cloudflare is one of the most popular content delivery networks, CDN, out there, thanks to its super affordable price tag. It's free. If you've got a lot of visitors from multiple countries, and you want to improve your page speed on their end, then a CDN is your answer. Instead of serving your website files from the other end of the globe, a CDN will serve your files from a server nearest your user's location. This logistically improves your website speed and improves your user's experience too. Number three. W3 Total Cache If you use WordPress for your website, then you absolutely need to install the W3 Total Cache plugin. It's free and it's easy to set up. If you get lost in the technical lingo, there are plenty of tutorials that can help you out with step-by-step -step instructions. Many developers and WordPress enthusiasts recommend this plugin to reduce your web page's load time. You can also save up to 80% of your bandwidth thanks to its minify and compression technology. Number 4. A3 Lazy Load Lazy loading images work great for helping speed up websites. Normally, when a visitor goes to your website, all your website files are downloaded so it can be viewed on your browser. However, with an A3 Lazy Load plugin, the files will only be downloaded when your visitor scrolls down the page. It works especially great for content-heavy sites, which have tons of images and videos. In this presentation, you're going to learn five of the biggest benefits of having a fast-loading website for your brand or business. Everyone hates slow websites. Imagine going to Google to look up something that really matters to you, and you click on a link, and wait, and wait, and wait some more. Well, if you were in a hurry, you'd have hit that back button on your browser after one to two seconds. That's lost traffic and quite possibly lost revenue for that website. I'm sure you wouldn't want to be in that position. 
So, here's a list of some of the top benefits of having a speedy website. Number 1. More visitors. When your site loads fast, you'll have more people landing on your site since they won't feel the need to hit their browser's back button. Time is money, so if you're spending money on ads just to get people to visit your site, then you're wasting it. You put up a site so people can visit it. Make sure they actually land there. Number 2. More leads and sales. Since online sales is pretty much a numbers game, just like in the offline world, then you need lots and lots of visitors if you want to have a good conversion rate. The more visitors you have, the higher the chances someone's actually going to take you up on an offer. Number 3. Lower bounce rates. When people visit your site, they do nothing there. No clicking through to another page or your links, no filling out of any form, no engagement whatsoever. Then that leads to higher bounce rates. When you've got a slow site, people will have very little incentive to check out what you have to offer. They'll leave in droves, and that leads to high bounce rates for your site. Number 4. Better experience for your users. You want people to keep on coming back to your site? Make sure it loads fast. If you publish great content and people know they don't have to wait for ages for your content to load, then that leads to a much better experience for everyone who visits your site. Number 5. Better ranking on search engines. Search engines love fast loading sites and they reward these sites with better rankings in their search results pages. Work on improving your site's speed, your site's user experience and in time, you'll be justly rewarded by search engines. 6 Secrets to Speed Up Your WordPress Website WordPress is the most popular content management system, CMS, in the world. In fact, a third of all websites in the world run on WordPress. However, not many people know how to optimize their WordPress sites to make it load faster. If this sounds like you, then don't worry. In this presentation, you're going to learn the top 6 secrets to speed up your WordPress website. Number 1. Update WordPress and your plugins regularly. WordPress gets frequently updated thanks to its global community of developers who work together to fix bugs, add new features, and so much more. When you don't update your version of WordPress and your plugins, then you're leaving your site vulnerable to possible attacks. Over time, you'll notice your site will start performing sluggishly too. Number 2. Choose a good host. Good hosting is a necessary investment for your website's success. The cheapest hosting plan is good for absolute beginners who don't expect tons of people visiting their site. However, once your site gains traction and more people visit it, then you need to upgrade your hosting as well. Number 3. Use a well-coded theme. There are plenty of great-looking WordPress themes. However, as you probably already know, not all themes are created equal. Some theme developers add plenty of features to their themes without realizing it's become slow and bloated. Number 4. Optimize your images. If you're uploading large images to your site, then you're contributing to your site's slower loading times. There's really no point in uploading a 5 megabyte file if a 500 kilobyte version looks exactly the same. There are plenty of image optimizing tools out there that reduce image file sizes drastically without any visible differences between the unoptimized and optimized images. Number 5. Use a content delivery network. Content delivery networks help greatly with improving your page loading times. Your website files will be delivered from a server location closest to where your website visitor is located. This means less time is needed to load your site's files, which translates to faster loading times for your site. Number 6. Delete unnecessary plugins. There are thousands of awesome plugins for WordPress. It's one of the reasons why the platform is so popular. You can change its looks, functionality, and so much more just by installing a plugin or two. The problem is people sometimes get carried away and just install plugin after plugin. Sometimes plugins will conflict with each other, which leads to slower loading times for your website. How optimizing your images can help with your site's speed. Humans are visual creatures, and we love browsing or scrolling through beautiful images on websites. However, one thing that can dampen your enthusiasm quickly is when websites load ever so slowly. Chances are that it's the images that's causing all that slowness. Imagine visiting a page with plenty of images on it, and each image is like 5 megabytes or more. Sure, these may be print quality and high definition photos taken with expensive cameras, but at the end of the day, is it really necessary to upload these large image files to websites? Many people think that the higher the megapixel numbers, the better the image quality. That's simply not true. 
What is true, however, is that the higher the megapixels, the bigger the resulting image file size. Printing images is not the same as uploading it to the internet. If you want an internet-friendly image, you need to optimize it. Optimizing simply means making sure the image still looks good, but at the same time, it's not going to take forever to load. For web pages, the recommended image size is only 1200 by 800 pixels. The suggested maximum is 2000 pixels. You need to find the right balance between picture quality and file size. To help you understand why image optimization is so important, I need to show you first how websites work. A website is basically a bunch of files which are stored on your web hosting company's server. When someone wants to view your website, their browser will send a request to your web host and ask them to send your files over. When your visitor is able to view your site on your browser, it means that the web host has agreed to the user's request. Now imagine if the web page your website visitor wants to view has plenty of large images on it. It will take quite some time for your web host to serve up your website files, which include all of those large images. However, if the image files have all been optimized, then it takes far less time to send those files over to your user's browser. This translates directly to faster load times for your web page. How to choose the right web hosting company Web hosting is a competitive industry, and it's really not surprising considering the fact that there are billions of websites out there and that all need to be hosted somewhere. In this presentation, you're going to learn how you can choose the right web hosting company for your website. Many web hosting companies have large budgets for advertising. You'd often see the same companies cropping up in many different places on the internet. However, just because they're big and popular doesn't automatically mean they're the best host. When it comes to web hosting, you often get what you pay for. So here are some points you need to consider to find the best hosting company. Number one, know your website needs. When you're just starting out, you don't need to go for the most expensive plan just because you can afford it. That's just wasteful and frankly, not a good investment. You should have an idea of the kind of content you'll publish and an estimate of your monthly traffic. Then look for the right package that meets your needs. Number two, compare different packages. Depending on your needs, some basic packages may actually be perfect for you. However, different web hosts bundle different services into their packages. Some offer plenty of useful freebies, which would be considered add-ons in other companies. Number three, read user reviews. Reviews from people who have used the service are extremely helpful. It will help you get an idea of the kind of service you'll be receiving as well. There are plenty of websites that offer unbiased reviews of various web hosts. Just a word of caution though, many of these reviewers do get a commission when you buy something through their affiliate links, so some might not be as unbiased as you think. Number four, understand their terms. What's the service level agreement or uptime guarantee? Their money back guarantee, their contract terms. Knowing all these may mean the difference between a good experience and a bad experience. If you don't want to read the fine print, then do check out reviews or ask the web host directly. Number five, don't get hung up on the price. Some companies offer rock bottom prices that make many people think signing up is a no brainer. However, when they start experiencing problems, they realize they're not getting the support they need, or they don't realize the renewal price will be two times or three times higher than their initial package. Why you should care about how fast your website loads. If you're not sure why you should bother with your website's page load times, then you should tune into this presentation. You're going to learn a whole lot about websites and how your visitors' minds work. In the early days of the internet, no one cared about website speed. All that mattered was that you had a website. Today, with modern technology improving and developing at breakneck speeds, webmasters need to come to terms with improving their site's loading times. For instance, no one's going to bother waiting for your site to load if it takes upwards to 5 to 10 seconds for your page to appear on their computer screens. People want instant gratification. If they want to visit your website, they want to do it now. If people find your website too slow, they're going to leave and they'll go to your competitors. A speedy website helps with your site's user experience. You want people to visit your website, right? You went to all the trouble of setting up a website. Now that it's live, you want people to visit it. But when your site's too slow, it's not going to encourage people to want to stay on your site. This directly translates to a loss in potential revenue for your site. In addition to leaving a good impression on your users, a fast website also leaves a good impression on search engines. While there are plenty of other factors involved, a fast website gets a stamp of approval from Google. Eventually, you may be rewarded with high rankings on keywords relevant to your content. 
But why should you even care about your rankings on Google? Well, search engine traffic is the best kind of traffic. Websites compete to be at the top of search engines because it's free and highly targeted traffic. They don't need to pay hefty advertising fees to search engines, just so they'll appear at the top of search results. When your site is at the top of Google, you'll get traffic sent your way for free. Improving your site's page load times is an important aspect of search engine optimization, or SEO. If you give Google the kind of content it likes, high quality and highly informative pages that load at blazing fast speeds, then you'll be on the receiving end of high quality traffic too. In this presentation, we're going to uncover the differences between self-hosted WordPress websites and static HTML websites. Stay tuned to find out which type of website is faster. There are many ways you can create your website. While WordPress isn't the only content management system, CMS, it's the most popular. A third of all websites run on the WordPress platform, so you can see just how big and massive the WordPress community is. But are self-hosted WordPress sites faster than static HTML sites? Or is it the other way around? First of all, let's dig into why you would want to choose one over the other. Why use WordPress? WordPress is one of the easiest ways for people to get their own websites. You simply need to buy your domain name, sign up with a web host, and install WordPress on the server. Many host companies have a one-click WordPress install feature, so it's really a beginner-friendly CMS. WordPress is great for all types of websites. There are thousands of themes and plugins you can choose from to transform your site into anything you'd like. There are plugins for practically anything you can think of. If you want to speed up your site, there are plugins for that too. The downside to having all these options, though, is that when you don't know what you're doing, you can easily slow down your WordPress site, which is what usually happens in the real world, webmasters unknowingly slowing down their own sites. Why use static HTML websites? Static HTML sites might not be a good fit for everyone. If you're afraid to touch code, then this might not be for you, and you may be better off sticking with WordPress. The good news is, is that there are now many HTML builders that you can use, which allow you to build static HTML websites without touching a single line of code. These builders help you save time. Many even include pre-built templates, where you only need to swap out the elements you want to change. So, which is faster? There are pros and cons for each type of technology, but from a strictly technical point of view, static HTML sites are generally faster than WordPress sites. You can make WordPress sites load faster too, but you'd have to be technically adept so you can tweak it and make it run just as fast as a static HTML site. That's it for this video today, and thanks for watching. If you like this video then please subscribe and hit the bell of notification. So, you will get notification, as soon as I upload a new video. I wish you best luck for all your future projects. See you later next time.